Hi, it's Lori with Indie Kids, and I'm gonna show you how to properly tag games and puzzles. So let's start with the game of life. All right, so if this was just a normal box without a hole in the middle of it, you could just take painter's tape, tape it closed on all the edges, and then just tape your tag right on the front using painter's tape. But because there's a hole right in the front of the box, I'm gonna show you a trick. Take the lid off the box, and you're gonna take some saran wrap and cover that hole. And it doesn't have to be as big as the box, just enough to cover the hole. And then you wanna leave a little hanging over the edge so closing the box secures the saran wrap, okay? And then you are going to take your painter's tape and tape all the edges just like normal, all right? And remember, cardboard boxes, you really need to use painter's tape on them or they will rip the boxes, that's very important. Okay, here's a puzzle, just a normal box. All you need to do here is tape the edges closed and tape your um, tag right onto the top of the box, okay? Now this is a metal game. It's, it's just in a metal box. Super simple. All you need to do is take your tag, put it on the back, and you're gonna wanna take a piece of packing tape. You can use that on this because it's a metal box. And you're gonna wanna make sure that your packing tape is long enough to reach the top of the box so it will close the edges. So just take your packing tape and go all the way around the edge and it is very secured because the tape goes almost all the way around it. It holds your tag on and it shuts the box, okay? Now, we have a puzzle here that doesn't have a box. It's got these peg pieces. Sometimes there's puzzles like this that are chunky, they don't have the peg pieces, but how? what's the best way to secure this? Well, there's a couple different things that you can do. We've seen some people uh, use painter's tape and tape all these pieces down. That really doesn't work that great because when we have thousands of people in there shopping, the painter's tape ends up coming off and the pieces get lost. So you can do a couple of different things. Really the easiest thing to do is to put the whole puzzle into a Ziploc bag and then just secure the bag. It doesn't close, but you can take tape across the top and just tape that shut and that will easily keep the puzzle in there. The other thing that you can do is you could take saran wrap. Now you'll need to make sure it's large enough, but you can cover the whole thing with saran wrap, go on all the edges, close it up, and then what you'll want to do is you'll want to take tape on the bottom and you'll tape those edges shut. Now you could take a really large piece and just wrap it. Some sellers do that. But if you don't want to use that big of a piece, you'll need to tape the bottom shut. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.